All right, what is up, geek fans? This is Gibson here. It's been too long since my previous video. I'm still adjusting to the new dance line, so please excuse me for that. Today, I just want to give you guys a quick look at the uh, Windows full screen experience on the MSI Claw 8 AI Plus. So basically, the Windows full screen experience is supposed to give you a console-like experience. But basically, it's going to start up your Windows with a very limited startup app. So technically, you should use less RAM. You can check out the Fox video. He has already discussed uh, the topic in, in his video. But for today's video, I want to focus on what it is like to use the Windows full screen experience on the MSI Claw 8 AI Plus. So let's dive in. All right, so I'm not going to dive into how you could get this thing up and running on your device. I'm just going to leave the link in the description so you can check it out. This is a Xbox app in the full screen experience. As you can see, it's very close to what it was before, but just without the um, taskbar at the bottom. Here you see that all the apps uh, from other games from your Steam library is also here. So you can launch all the games from here, or you can just switch to your usual Steam big picture mode and start your Steam games from there. So as you can see, the task switcher is very minimal. You don't see the, the Windows taskbar anymore. And there are two methods you could launch the task switcher. The first one being swiping up from the bottom. But what I did was using the MSI um, hotkey. So uh, in recent updates, uh, MSI has changed how you could control uh, the back buttons. So you can remap the back buttons to the Windows hotkey. So what I did was I remapped the M2 key to the task viewer button on the Windows. So when I press that uh, M2 button, I'm going to be in the task switcher. So that's very convenient for me. And also, you will notice that we have this uh, glitching issue when we uh, launch the MSI Center. But if I press the button again, everything will just work fine. So one other thing is that I reconfigured the M1 button to the keyboard uh, hotkeys, which is uh, the Control and Number 1. This will trigger the Steam uh, menu, so it makes it's very convenient to use uh, Steam in a big picture mode, and it's easy to switch back and forth between the Xbox apps and uh, Steam big picture mode. All right. So as you can see, the quick settings is very snappy. I don't know what uh, MSI has done in recent updates, but uh, the experience on the quick setting has been much better. And it's going to be different when you use uh, it with the uh, Xbox controller as well, but uh, this is how it's going to be when you use it in handheld mode. So you have this settings here where you can access the Windows settings. So from here, if you want to adjust anything related to Windows, you can come here and adjust your settings accordingly. And everything inside this uh, settings page is has uh, controller support, so it's very convenient navigating through uh, the settings. Just want, to, just want to show you guys the current version that I'm on. So this is the current Windows Preview Insider version that I'm on. And just want to show you guys the current MSI version that I'm on as well. So let's check out the update menu. So I have this E1 T52 IMS uh, version of the BIOS and the firmware is 2.23. All right, so uh, let's fire up some game and see uh, how it performs and how it behaves differently from the non-full screen version. So I'm going to start uh, Ratchet and & Clank. And what I really like about the Windows full screen experience is that uh, it is really uh, close to a console experience now. So you don't get to see um, the Windows uh, taskbar, you don't get to see the desktop. That's all hidden in the background. So 
kind of feels like you are playing on an Xbox. But uh, the truth is, uh, it's still full-fledged Windows on the background, just uh, limited startup apps. So I've been using the, the full screen experience for a few days and I don't notice any performance improvement, but also I don't notice any uh, performance degradation. And you still rely on that uh, hibernation um, functionality uh, like usual. So you don't have any improvement on the sleep mode. You, you still need to use hibernation for um, sleeping and waking up your device and resuming your game session. And I don't notice uh, an improvement in the hibernation wake up time either. So it still feels like it's using the same time as before. Now what's really interesting is that uh, now that we have a console-like experience on this device, uh, I want to see whether it makes more sense now to dock this device uh, with your living room TV. So I'm going to wire this thing up to my monitor and show you guys what it is like to use the Windows full screen experience with the Xbox controller. So let's do just that. All right, so I'm using my Xbox controller here. And as you can see, pressing the Xbox button will launch the quick settings and you can navigate through the quick settings uh, just as you would uh, on handheld mode. And it's always a good idea to disable embedded controller when you're using an Xbox controller like this. Right, so uh, with, with the Xbox controller, it's more convenient now that uh, you have everything inside this quick settings. You can still use your MSI quick settings uh, as usual, and you can navigate through um, just about everything here, right? And uh, pressing and hold the Xbox button will call the task switcher. Right, but uh, the drawback is that you cannot do, um, you cannot call the Steam menu anymore with this uh, uh, Xbox button mapped to the quick settings. It will just call the, the quick settings, so uh, you could not click on the Steam menu from this page. You can just press back, and hopefully uh, it will go back to the menu. But in this case, it doesn't. So that is still uh, one of the things I. I'm still figuring out how to handle. But as you can see, if you are using uh, the Xbox apps as your main uh, launcher, then everything will work just fine. You can just uh, close down your game uh, with, with the X button. Then you can just go back to uh, the Xbox launcher and launch your next game. So as you can see, I think it makes more sense now to dock this with device with your living room TV and treat it like an, a console. So that's uh, one of the quality of life improvement that I see. So, all right guys, I'm not gonna be diving into details in uh, the, the performance improvement. Uh, you can check out the Fox video in the description. And I think that's about it guys uh, for this video. And I'll see you geeks in the next one. Peace out guys.